So now that we're outputting the list of pages that we have in our database table to a user, and we're allowing them to click on a link and see the contents of that page, we want to work on the admin part of this. The first thing that we're going to do is work on the listing of all the pages that we currently have, and then we can create links to do things like add a new page, edit a uh, already existing page, or delete a page. So let's go ahead and build this list page. Remember earlier we created an HT access and HT password. So whenever we access admin and then anything within that, uh, we'll be prompted to enter a username and password. Now I've already authenticated so I can just see the root of this admin directory here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file in here. And this is going to be called list.php. It could be index.php, it's entirely up to you. And all this file is going to do is it's going to list out the pages that we have. So that's a similar query to what we saw earlier where we're just outputting all of the pages. But this time it's gonna be in a table and we're gonna go ahead and add all the links that we need. So inside of list.php then, we need to require in app start. Now we're out of the directory now. So what we actually need to do is go back one directory. We need to go into app and then include start.php, and then we can start writing out our query to pull out all of our pages. So let's create a pages variable as we did before for our home page, and we're going to do a raw query just here. We're not gonna execute anything because we're not passing any user data in. So we're gonna choose the columns that we want to select. In this case, it's gonna be ID, label, title, and slug. And obviously that's coming from our pages table, as we've already seen. But this time we're gonna order it by the created uh, field. I'm gonna order that descending. So we do the same as before by fetching all of our records. I'm gonna fetch them as an associative array. And when we do a quick var dump on that, just to check that we've done everything right, we should see when we hit list.php, the list of them pages, perfect. So now we want to create a view to basically output all of our pages. So inside of our views folder, we're gonna create a folder called admin. And then inside of here, I'm gonna create a new file. And this is gonna be called list.php. And I'm just gonna say list admin. And then here we can require view root, much like we've done for the other two pages we've created, forward slash admin, forward slash list.php. And then we see that view. So for this view then, we can just copy and paste over the header. Of course, you can include a different header and footer if you wanted to. I'm gonna paste over the footer as well, and there we go. So inside of here then, it's gonna be very similar to before where we check if there are any pages. So remember we're checking if that pages variable is empty. We have our else here. And then we have our end if. So if the uh, pages array is empty, we can say no pages at the moment. Otherwise, we can go ahead and list all of the pages. So I'm gonna create this in a table. We're gonna have a head here with a row, and then we're gonna have a label, title, slug, and then we're gonna have three links, two links rather, edit and delete. So we have our label, we have our title, our slug, and then we're gonna create two empty table headers, like so. So we've got label, title, slug, and then our links will go here. So moving on to the body of our table, what we now want to do in here is loop through each of the pages, and then we can output a new row for each of the pages. So we're gonna say for each, 
pages as page, which we did uh, when we were outputting them on the home page. And we'll end the for each. And inside of here then, we can create our table row. We can create our cells. So the first cell then is the label. So we'll just write label in there for now. The next is the title. The next is the slug. And then we have two links in here. So we'll just uh, say edit and delete. So we'll leave them empty for now. But now we can see label, title, slug, edit, and delete. So these, these represent our two pages we already have in our database. But we need to obviously change this. So inside of PHP tags, we can echo page label. Remember, we want to escape that. We can do the same for our title as well. So echo page title and again we're going to escape this and for our slug actually we're going to create an anchor for this because we want this to go uh, through to the actual page itself so us as admins can preview this so inside of the text of the anchor we can just output the slug but for the href we can go and echo base URL and then we could say forward slash page.php page equals and then we can output the slug here exactly the same as we did on the home page so we can output page slug so we can echo that out and remember let's escape this output as well like so there we go so let's refresh and we see all of the information we would expect so first page second page uh, the title here, the slug, edit and delete, which don't do anything, but these will take us through to them pages so we can preview them as we're editing them. So we are done with the listing page. The last thing that we want to do is include a, an anchor down here, which is going to allow us to add a new page. So add new page. We're going to go ahead and fill in the link to this, and then we're going to build that in the next part. So let's echo out base URL forward slash admin forward slash add dot PHP. And when we click on that, we go through to the add dot PHP page, which is, which is going to allow us to add a page, which we'll be building next.